Hello friends, David here from Coding is for Losers. And as you probably know, um, at Coding is for Losers, you know, we, we build a lot of Google Sheets templates and do a lot of teaching in Google Sheets. Um, but lately, you know, for the last year or so, most of our actual, you know, the kind of work that we do with digital agencies, with startups, with, uh, you know, larger companies has all been in BigQuery and, and other databases. Um, doing stuff like, you know, building data pipelines and, and really like a full analysis stack versus just working in Google Sheets. So one thing that we've needed to do is bridge between them. So take data that's in a Google Sheet, say it's, you know, data from an add-on like Supermetrics, you know, Facebook ads data or something like that, um, and get it into BigQuery so that we can use it as part of our pipeline. So to facilitate that process, we've built an add-on, uh, which we'll call the BigQuery Connector from Coding is for Losers, that I'm gonna walk you through how we use it today. Basically, it does two things. It pushes data up from Sheets to BigQuery, um, which no other tool that I'm aware of uh, does in this way. Um, and it also will pull data down from, uh, from BigQuery back into your Sheet. So we're gonna demo both of those today. First things first, we'll just go to the add-ons menu to the CIFL BigQuery connector. We'll install it. Okay. And then we're gonna launch the sidebar. I've actually already gone through, you know, you'll log in and set up an account. Actually here, I need to, need to log in here. Let's log in. You'll sign up if you don't already, already have an account. Um, and I've already gone through the process of authenticating um, my BigQuery account, but if you're newly signing up, you'll be prompted to uh, authenticate BigQuery, which will open you know, a pop-up window to, to select your account and all that stuff. Um, but I already have BigQuery connected. You can see um, all of my projects here. Don't have any data sets or tables yet. That's what we'll, what we'll do here. Um, but yeah, you should see all of your BigQuery connections here. Um, so let's go ahead and let's do a, a push up to BigQuery. So let's take this data here um, and let's get it up to our, our BigQuery project here. Um, so let's call it demo push. Uh, let's make a new group. So the feed name is just whatever you'll recognize this, this push as or pull. Um, the run group means you might wanna run an, a number of pushes together. So say you have five tabs down here that you wanna push all at the same time on the same schedule. That's just what, you know, what a run group means. Um, so we'll just call this demo run group. Uh, so you select your input tab, you know, which tab from Sheets are you pushing data up to, um, which is demo push. Let's select our output project, which is this uh, Sheets add-on project. We don't have any data sets yet in this project in BigQuery. Um, so let's create one. Uh, let's call it. Let's call it demo data set. Cool. So that was created. Um, so that's a really handy piece of this add-on is you can create data sets or tables on the fly, um, and it'll create the actual tables for you. So we'll call this demo table, and. This, if we hover, so basically what this table auto create does is it'll recognize what field types are in here. So it'll recognize, this is one of the you know, big kind of pains with creating new tables um, on the fly from something like Sheets is what do you, how do you set up your actual tables? So we need to know that this is a string, this is an integer, this is a float field, this is a date field. Um, and what this add-on will do is actually just recognize what's in the first handful of rows, what type of data, and create the table to map to what type of data is in it. So let's just double check if we refresh this. We'll see that this data set that we just created here um, is now in BigQuery. Um, you don't need to check, you know, that'll just, <laughs> that'll just happen, but just wanted to show you. Uh, and let's go ahead and create that push, which will create the table, demo table, in that data set and push data up to it. Um, so if we see here now in the, uh, in the menu, we have our group here. 
So this is our demo run group. If we want to view, you might have like five or 10 jobs within a run group, right? So it has this view hide functionality. So it says it's a push, it's, we named it demo push. Um, it's pushing from the demo push tab up to demo table. You can always go back and edit, delete or copy that. Um, but let's hide that for now. And let's just check in BigQuery. So now we see our, our table was created. We have all of our fields and field types automatically picked up. And we have our data there. So we had about 999 rows. Um, so we have, it also, it adds whatever you named that, uh, the push, so it calls it demo push. And it will add a field of when was that written. So if you're trying to do deduplication or just do an audit of when data was, was posted, you have that time of entry field. Um, so that's, that's basically it for the push. Um, if you want to, you know, you can schedule this job. So say we want to push data, you know, at, at two o'clock every day, you can activate that and it'll, it'll create all the triggers for you. So say you have like five or 10 tabs in here that are being refreshed via, you know, super metrics or something like that. And you want to push all of them up to BigQuery on a, on a schedule. Um, you can set up timers, timers in this way, weekly, daily, however you want to do it. Now let's go ahead and pull the data that we push up to BigQuery back down to our Google Sheet. Say we wanted to use it as part of like a forecast or some type of sheets reporting um, or some type of other sheets template that you have. Uh, I'll, we'll do this a lot of Coding is for Losers where we use BigQuery as like the data store and then Sheets as kind of like the functional front end to uh, do some other business work because, you know, Sheets is obviously the interface that, that people are comfortable working in um, if they don't know SQL. So first let's test our query. Let's just, we're basically just going to pull out our string, date, etc. fields from this table. Um, and let's create a new poll. So let's call it demo poll. Let's create a new group, demo poll group. And let's drop our query in there. And we'll say, we'll output it to the demo poll tab, which is what, what this is named. Cool. So that was successful. Um, this now says, uh, Oh, it, it writes our name, the name column as well up, up front, just so you know where what group it came from. This is in case if you're running um, multiple jobs from within the same group to the same tab, you might want to know like which query the data came from, if it's you know for a specific person or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We have all thousand rows there, so it looks like these tabs are the same that we pushed up to and pulled down from BigQuery. Um, if you want to, you can obviously schedule these jobs or if you want to just run it from the sidebar, um, it will refresh the data at any time. And that just refresh, we didn't see anything because the, the data is the same. Um, so that's just really about it. It's a very straightforward add-on. Um, it does this kind of utility that we really need if we're going to work in Sheets and also work in a database like BigQuery. Um, so it's kind of the core bridge to, uh, to allow that to happen. And hope you enjoy it. Feel free to reach out to uh, Commissioner at Coding is for Losers if you have any questions. Take care. <laughs>